This video focuses on the use of the Google Info or GDAL Info command to retrieve information about raster data sets. This demonstration starts at the command prompt on the class server and assumes that you have already connected to the server either using PuTTY from Windows Workstation or the terminal application from a Macintosh. From the home directory on the class server, if I do an ls, I can see that I have two directories in my home directory on the class server, one called data, one called public underscore HTML. I have previously copied some data sets that I've downloaded from data sources on the internet from my home computer to the class server. If I change into the data directory using the cd command, do an ls to see the contents of that directory, we see several files and, and, a, and a directory. We see the ecw.zip file which is a digital ortho photo quad that I downloaded from the New Mexico Argus system. We see the New Mexico NLCD.tiff.gz file, which is a geotiff that I downloaded from the USGS National Land Cover Data System. And then we see the data set that ends in .shp.zip, which is a shape file that I also downloaded from the New Mexico Resource Geographic Information System. Since in this demonstration we are focusing on raster data sets, the shape file is not applicable as that is a vector data set. Instead, we are going to focus on the New Mexico NLCD GeoTIFF. You can see that that file ends with a .gz extension indicating that the file that was downloaded from USGS is compressed and was compressed using the GZ algorithm. So before I can work with the file, I need to decompress it into its raw format. To do that, I can use the gunzip command, which is just g -un -z -u -n -z -i -p and the name of the file. When I hit return, it will decompress the file, and this will take a moment. And we can now do an ls command and see that the gz file has gone away, and we now see the corresponding .tiff file, which is the uncompressed form of the file that we downloaded. The Google info command, like all of the Google related commands, relate only to raster data sets. And more specifically, raster data sets that are supported by the currently installed Google library on the specific system that you're working on. So the available formats will vary from system to system depending upon how the software was built and installed. To find out what formats are supported by the version of Google that is installed on any system that you're working on, you can type in the command Google Info, G-D-A-L-I-N-F-O, followed by a space, then dash dash formats. This command will list all of the formats that are supported by the current Google installation. So if I hit return here, we will then see a list of the formats that are available for this particular version of Google. One thing you will notice actually is that the ECW format is not supported by this version of Google, which is not unusual because the ECW format and the SID format are both proprietary formats that require special licensing to be able to be installed. And as a result, the developers of some of the open source libraries do not automatically include support for those formats in the builds of their software. 
So while I downloaded an ECW file from the New Mexico Argus system, I can't actually work with that file on the version of Goodle that is installed on the class server. You may want to check the file formats supported by the installation of Goodle on your Macintosh or Windows machine to see if it supports ECW or not. The bottom line is it would be it's a good idea to check the supported file formats on the system that you're going to be using to interact with these data before you download a lot of data that is potentially in a format that is not supported. That having been said, now let's look at how the Google info command works and what the output looks like. So I'm going to clear the screen here, do an ls again so I can make sure I know what the file name is. And the Google info command is a very simple one, though there are some options that you can see by typing the man and Google info command. But here we're just going to simply type Google info, G D A L I N F O, and the name of the file that we would like to receive information about. In this case, the New Mexico.nlcd.tiff file. I'll hit return. And then the output of the command appears on the screen. If I scroll up, I can move back to the top of the output and we can look at the various elements that are presented. First, we can see the format of the file as indicated by the driver that Google Info used to read the information about the file. We can see, see the name of the file itself as indicated by this files line. We see that this particular raster is 20,583 pixels wide and 21,277 pixels tall. So that's 20,583 from east to west and 21,277 from south to north. We then see a block of information about the coordinate reference system for this particular raster data set and we can see the name of the projection is the Albers conical equal area projection we can see some information about the reference geographic coordinate system that is a part of the definition of the projection and then a set of projection parameters that also relate to the definition of that projection. We also see here a statement about the units of measurement for this particular data set where we can see that the units are meters. We can see that the origin of the data set is at this particular location in meters as we determined up above. We can see that the pixel size for this raster data set is 30 by 30 meters. There is some additional metadata included in this that was written out by the software that generated the data set. There is additional metadata about the structure of the image. And then there is some key information about the coordinates that define the upper left, lower left, upper right, and lower right corners of the image, provided both in the native coordinate system of the data set, that would be the Albers equal area meters, followed by the equivalent geographic coordinates. So you can refer to either when talking about the coordinates of the bounding box for the raster data that you're working with. The center point of the raster is also provided for reference. Following that is information about the one or more bands of data that are included in this particular data set. So in this case we only have one band of data that is of a byte format, meaning that there are only 256 values, and there's actually a color table defined within the data set 
that maps each of those 256 values to a particular combination of red, green, blue, and transparency uh, for all of those 256 values. This is the information that allows some clients that would display this data to display it in a manner consistent with the way that USGS presents the information. So this is all of the information that you can get out of the Google Info command that can provide the basis for your understanding of a raster data set in terms of its coordinate reference system or projection, the format of the data, the um, structure of the data in terms of how many bands there are, and the bounding coordinates for the region that the data set covers. You can repeat this command for any number of raster data sets as long as those data sets are understood by the Google library that is installed on your system. So that concludes this demonstration and hopefully you'll be able to productively interact with raster data sets using the Google command. Thank you.